Australia. The people united for a better government. And the people of Queensland and the people of Australia are standing up against the Abbott government in Queensland, against the Newman government. The only way that we will get better government is something that people have been doing for generations and that is taking to the streets and that is making demands and that is standing up and saying, if you do not govern for us, then you should not govern at all. This woman, 28 years old, unpaid fines. For that, she was placed in a cell. We saw this socialite, Jody Mears, got drunk out of her brain, smashed her motor vehicle, smashed up three other vehicles, endangered lives, could have killed somebody, a slap on the wrist, walked away. An Aboriginal woman, 28 years of age, couldn't pay her fines, imprisoned, they watch our staff, they took her to the medical centre, a nurse saw her, cleared her, returned to the cell, moments later she was deceased. And the, and the fault and the responsibility certainly goes back to Canberra. To place Aboriginal professionals there, in the watch house and in the prisons, to make sure that our mob receive the best care, that the cops and the prison officers honour their defined legal duty of care. We must hold Abbott, Hockey and their rotten sticking government fully criminally accountable for what is happening to our communities right around Australia. Thank you. The Great Barrier Reef and reefs worldwide are under threat from climate change. If we continue with the emissions we are experiencing now, if we continue to increase them, there are libraries full of data showing that the results will be devastating. We've got water quality issues to deal with. We've got river discharge from land clearing, from agriculture, from coastal development. To top it all off, we've got crown of thorns outbreaks. So we've got all these threats already and they're growing. As well as that, we've got the enormous climate change ramifications of mining the Galilee Basin. This is huge and the emissions from burning that coal will be equivalent to the emissions of the seventh largest emitting country. So how does it happen? How do things like Abbott Point and Gladstone be approved? How does that happen? At the moment, incredibly, the proponents, the developers, employ, choose, employ and pay the consultants to do the assessment process. At the moment, we have no peer review from independent scientists of the results and the data are very frequently not made available in a timely fashion and there are many confidentiality agreements all through this process. We know that climate change is adversely affecting all sorts of ecosystems across the planet and our governments are not making any meaningful effort to counteract that climate change. This has to change. It is not anti-bikey laws that we oppose, but the Attorney General said in May 2012, it is anti-association laws we oppose. When enough moments of deja vu accumulate, the sensation goes from curious to troubling to fear-inducing. It took decades of hard work and the personal suffering of many to bring some sunshine back into Queensland following the Joe days. If the LNP thinks it can lower a Bjorki Peterson National Party style government template over contemporary Queensland, it is in for a rude shock. Campbell Newman has conceded his administration is considered authoritarian and uncaring. How accurate is that? But insisted, insisted, don't you worry about that, insisted, 2014 will be the year Queensland reaped the benefits of his tough decisions. Well, a mere month later, this is what he was saying about criminal lawyers. Quote, they are part of the criminal gang machine and they will see, say and do anything to defend their clients and try to get them off or indeed progress their sort of case 
their dishonest case, end quote. If selling assets was going to fix the budget, why did they claim to find a, a financial disaster when immediately they came into office? Of course, there was no disaster. This is just part of the same tired script that every LNP government since at least 1989. I've been doing this since 1989, refusing these damn reports. And you know, it really is just like uh, the various rituals when they open Parliament House, they commission a commission of audit, they discover a budget emergency, and they use it to do the same things they were planning on doing anyway. The good news is, I think, that large sections of the economic profession are waking up to the failure of these policies. We've seen uh, increasing numbers of, uh, of economists, uh, most notably Paul Krugman in the New York Times, but even spreading to the central bankers, accepting that the policies of austerity that, we've that have been pursued, uh, particularly in Europe, to a lesser extent in the UK, USA, Australia, since the global financial crisis, have been a failure that uh, the attempt to bail out the banks, keep the system working exactly as it, as it has, put all the burden onto working people, has not delivered the goods. Uh, so that, that message is finally, I think, getting through the economics profession, not, of course, uh, to the uh, LNP here in Australia or, indeed, to much of our policy elite, which is still living back in that 1980s era. <laughs> Oh my God, that's the most terrifying place to walk when you're a 90 kilo woman. I tell you what, you need a good healthcare system when you're a 90 kilo woman standing on a milk crate. I can't wait 10 years in a line to get a new knee. <laughs> that's where we will be. I suppose too, I'd like to start by uh, having to acknowledge uh, Abbott and Newman's newly appointed traditional owners, the Coal Seam Gas Company. Uh, clearly there's been some choices made there. But today, I wanted to gather together to acknowledge the death of a great Australian, a fair go, yeah. killed by Tony Abbott with the blunt end of his hockey stick. Healthcare for everyone from idiots like James Packer to a supermarket shelf packer. Guys, um, we're all here today to show our disgust at the governments across Australia that we're currently having to endure. Uh, governments that are hell bent on destroying the Australian way of life that we know and love. Whether you're young, old, sick, a worker, or a pensioner, this government has us squarely in its sights. A government that wishes to just sell out Australia. Yeah. When I have pensioners ringing me up crying about not being able to pay their electricity bills and asking me what we can do, that makes me angry. It makes me angry because a government that told lies at election time to get elected and got elected by a huge majority now does a backflip on everything that it's ever said. Comrades, I want you to maintain the rage. I want you to maintain the rage all the way up to the next election and let's take these bastards down. Thanks for your time.